So this is how I'm able to land one to two highly qualified client meetings a day for my agency. And guys, I'm not just talking, you know, one day I'll have one, you know, or three client meetings uh, and then the next, you know, the next 10 days, I won't have any meetings. Here, I'm talking about consistently and reliably getting client meetings day in and day out uh, and really just having that full pipeline of leads. Here, this is my Acuity scheduler and you can pretty much see that every single day is booked in and the days that are not, I uh, either blocked it out or it's a weekend. And also guys, this is not counting those uh, those leads that I actually preferred uh, to have the meeting over on phone uh, or via WhatsApp. Uh, and those were around five to six leads uh, this month. Here you can see one of those uh, WhatsApp meeting examples, just so that you guys see that I'm not just uh, bullshitting um, and I actually do use WhatsApp or phone call if the case, you know, if, if the case is presented. And so you know, I decided to create that team of, of A players in the e-com space that weren't just marketers, knew how to do marketing amazingly well and grow on social media, but understood, most importantly, understood how to grow a business, not just do marketing, grow a business on, online and on, on social media. That sounds good. But my main method uh, is Zoom. Now, the reason why I tell you guys this with you know, so much passion and excitement, it's not to brag, it's, it's not because it looks cool uh, or you know, look at me, it's nothing like that. It's simply because you know, when I was just starting out with my agency uh, you know, over, over a year and a half ago, when I was just starting out, I was literally banging my head against the wall day in and day out, literally killing myself to land literally one meeting for a whole week. And that would be a good week. You know, I was following the advice of you know, a lot of gurus, a lot of people in this industry uh, telling me to you know, do 100 cold calls or, or 50 emails a day or uh, you know, send out you know, 10, 10 video audits a day, right? Uh, and I was following this advice, but it just wasn't working. And uh, I was putting countless, countless hours and so much effort into this, but clearly it was a broken system. I, I just knew something had to change. And I also saw, you know, in countless Facebook groups and, and just as a, as a community, I'm, I'm very aware of, of the zero marketing industry um, and, you know, I'm in this space day in and day out. And I was, you know, hearing countless and countless, you know, countless versions of people telling, you know, saying the same thing, right? That, you know, the, their biggest bottleneck was finding, you know, finding clients, find, finding qualified clients, but most importantly, landing meetings with, uh, you know, with uh, highly qualified clients that were, you know, worth their time and that were willing to pay for you know for their service right and so you know i i knew something had to change and uh, you know for months on end i i started really testing a, a bunch of things you know testing different iterations different you know angles different uh, variables at uh, different you know methods of, of outreach different uh, funnels different uh, messaging templates till i started really seeing results and for me it was all about consistently seeing results, right? The complete unorthodox way of actually landing meetings. I would wake up and I'd have meetings lined up. You know, the, the meetings would be almost, you know, closing themselves while I was sleeping. I realized I had built, I'd, I'd built this automated system that could run by itself and that I was literally spending one tenth of the time I used to spend on outreach, uh, creating videos, etc., etc., and getting 100x the results. The outreach method that I'm about to share with you guys takes a lot of inspiration from online advertising. And that is, you know, the service that uh, my agency offers. And, you know, I was seeing the service, I was in the trenches with the service, which I absolutely love. I was in the trenches day in and day out with my team members. Uh, and then I, you know, it, it really got me thinking, right? Why, why is it that the client acquisition, the, the customer acquisition method that we follow online for a lot of our clients, we're reaching a wide range of people, you know, different, you know, with different demographics based on, on you know, specific interests, uh, based on specific targeting. And we're putting a message that, that we think are gonna resonate with them because we're, you know, we're targeting a customer avatar. And then they're coming to us to buy a product and acquire value from us. Why do, we, why do I not apply the same method to an agency? Obviously, it's a much, uh, you know, it's much more scale. You're not gonna acquire, you know, 100 customers on a daily basis, right? But why don't I apply the same principle and reach a very, very wide audience still personalize it, still, still design my message to resonate with that customer avatar, that client avatar that I want to work with, but have this almost automated process where, you know, while I'm sleeping, there's, there's you know, clients coming in, uh, there's, there are leads coming in uh, and, you know, landing meetings, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really the, you know, the thinking behind uh, the, the process that I, I designed. Let's go to the whiteboard and uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm gonna show you how I actually go about it. So we are here in the famous whiteboard and uh, I think I, I can officially say that I'm a digital marketer, but 
What I wanted to do is I wanted to draft this whole process for you guys and show you the method that I came up with, the method that I follow to land medians consistently on a daily basis. And so the first thing that I do is, the first thing that I did is I asked myself, okay, what's the North Star? Where are we trying to get to? And how many touch points should I have with my clients to get them to the, you know to this point with the least amount of friction and the least time possible as well and, and also with, you know as cost effective as possible and so obviously the north star is clients that's really where you know the, the money is going to be and that's really how your agency is going to be able to scale and so that's what you know that's what we're trying to get to then i worked uh, upwards and so there'll be cases where where you will need uh, a second meeting if applicable obviously the reason why i say there'll be cases where, we, where you will need that second meeting is because if you're going for you know bigger clients, uh, at this point, my agency does that. If we're going for bigger clients, often there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of vetting, vetting involved. Uh, the whole structure is, you know, much more complex. And so there, there you know, there's gonna be, there's gonna have to be a lot of vetting involved. Uh, you know, us talking to, you know, for example, the CMO, then the, the CEO, and really them co coming to the decision that they want us to, to come on board. But it, you know, they, they need a lot more touch points. And so, for some clients, there'll be a you know a second meeting. In some cases, a third meeting. Uh, anything beyond that, you really want to avoid. Um, you know, you, you want to go uh, straight to the the chase. If you're having a lot of meetings and a lot of touch points, then it probably means that you haven't you know made your 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 value the the value of the, that you offer and your offering clear enough to them. So, if we go up, then we've got the discovery call, and before the discovery call, this is what I wanted to run through with you guys. We're gonna have a video audit. Now, I'm gonna show you why in some cases, this, in most cases, in fact, this is not gonna be necessary. And this was probably the biggest breakthrough for, for me, not spending tons of time sending out video orders to land the discovery calls. I, I realized a method that I could use to go straight to the discovery call. And so that's the video audit. And then here, we're gonna have the first touch point. Touch point, touch point, okay. So as you can see here, it works much like online advertising where you've created this funnel where you can have various touch points with a potential customer till they convert and they make up their, their mind. Really what I want you guys to take away from, from this video is here's how I got to that, that first touch point. Here's how I automated that first touch point. So I was getting discovery calls on autopilot while I was sleeping, I was waking up to, to you know, see my, my you know, acuity scheduler, see my, my, uh, my whole calendar booked up, right? And so, the way I did this is in two platforms. And so the platforms that I used, platforms, the platforms that I used is number one, LinkedIn. Guys, I've decided I'm not gonna be a LinkedIn consultant and that's not, that's not really gonna be my personal brand. But if those, uh, uh, you know, a different topic that I'd love to talk about is LinkedIn because I could honestly not vouch for them enough. Uh, I generally think every single business owner, every single agency owner, especially agency owner, if you're if you're offering B two B services, you have to be on LinkedIn. They're going to treat you, uh, you know, they're they're not going to treat you as a nuisance. They're going to actually respect you, uh, and that's what the you know the platform is designed to do. That people are looking for business opportunities. People are looking to partner up with like-minded people and people that can help them take things to the next level. And so, if you're not on, on LinkedIn and you're offering B two B services. This is really the first thing that, that you want to do and you want to optimize your profile. And so that's the first platform that I uh, used. And the second platform is email, okay? Here's the thing about me, right? The, the, thing, the thing about me is I've tried so many different things to get to this proven method, right? That's why I can speak from, from experience. Right? I can speak from having tried things, right? And so, I've, you know, this, this haven't just been one hit wonders. That's what I want to get across to you guys is these haven't been... Um, you know, one hit wonders. And so I've tried Facebook, I've tried Instagram. Um, what else have I tried? I've tried uh, cold calls. I've tried to go in, you know, I've actually tried going into uh, in, into establishments and, and trying to get to, uh, you know, trying to get a meeting with a business owner. That, that's really, uh, you know, back in the day, but I've tried a lot of methods. These are by far the easiest and really automated these ones, right? Uh, because these are scalable, these use the internet and you, you can't physically scale yourself, right? You can't scale cold calls because you can't duplicate yourself. And so these two platforms are the ones you should be using if you're just starting out. So now we've got the platforms that we're gonna use and you've optimized by now, you've optimized your profiles on those platforms. Now what we wanna do is actually plan the execution of our funnel um, and how we, you know, we wanna plan the method and the process that we're gonna to follow to drive a ton of traffic to the booking page 
so that they book a discovery call with you. And so the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna automate this whole thing, right? And so I, I know there's a lot of, you know, there, there's a lot of opinions on the space of, of you know, of people saying, you should automate this or, or you should really personalize this or uh, you, know, you, sh you, you really wanna send out individualized emails. And look, I agree with that. I, I, I certainly agree that every single outreach should be personalized, but there needs to be a, an element of automation. If you read the, the, the emails and the, the LinkedIn messages that I send out every single day, and I'm sending out you know, 100 to, to 500 messages in total a day, you'll see that they're highly personalized. The way I do it is, you know, there's a whole you know process to this. I won't get into it in this video, but what I do is, depending on their niche, depending on their on their position, depending on on what they do and what their their you know their their brand values, even I, I segment them and I put them into different buckets, and then I hit them with the automation. And so there there can be an element of personalization in the automa automation. And so that's what I want you to keep in mind. It's a bit against the grain. It's 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 a bit against what a lot of people are telling you to to not do. But I've tried those methods and, and thousands of people are trying those methods of personalization and, and writing every single email and it just doesn't work. You know, you're gonna waste a ton of time while keep landing uh, tons of meetings and signing new clients. And so, yeah, uh, I've tried it, doesn't work. What you wanna do is automate, uh, I'm gonna leave below on the description the, the softwares that I use for LinkedIn and for email to automate my, uh, my flows and also the, the, scheduler, so, uh, the scheduling software that I use to drive all that traffic and, and for, for uh, clients. Uh, to, to be able to book in a, a call with me. And so I'll leave those down below in the description. Now we've automated the whole system and what we wanna do now is build out two different flows, okay? Now, I won't get into the specifics of the copywriting and the messaging in the, the actual emails. I'll get into that in, in, in a few other videos. But essentially what you wanna understand here is that there are two different flows, okay? There are two different paths that they can take. And it really depends on the type of business they are. And so the first path is uh, a flow, a flow of emails, a flow of, of LinkedIn messages that leads them straight into a landing page, a booking page where they're able to book a, uh, they're, they're able to book in a discovery call. You're leading them straight to that booking page, and you're you're asking them, you're you're telling them that they should book in a, a call with you. You know, urging them uh, and actually providing a ton of value on that on that on those emails uh, to get them to book in a, a call. And so that's the first flow. Uh, that's the first path. The second path is leading them to the video audit. Uh, the way it differs from this first path is that the, the type of business you wanna drive to a video audit is a business that's that's more reputable, that's a bigger business, that I have, you know, they, they have a lot more employees, maybe you're reaching out to their CMO, it's not it's not actually the founder, and so there, there's a lot of vetting process, and for them to invest time into a meeting straight away, it's much harder, right? So you wanna, you know, you, you wanna provide a ton of value upfront to get that meeting, uh, you tend to to need to. That's what I found in, in in my personal experience, and so you need to drive them to a video audit. You know the way I do this is I you know I tell them uh, that that my team and I uh, have built out a an audit for them, uh, and and that we you know we we'd love to show them, but uh, obviously I, I want to respect their time, and uh, and I don't want to you know send it, and I want to overstep if they don't tell me that they they want to see the audit, and so that's what I tell them. It's not lying. It's it's actual truth. Like I've I've got the the audits uh, written out. Uh, it's just a matter of, of actually, you know, you only record the video once they tell you that they're interested. And so that saves a lot of time because you're not having to record videos, video audits for people that are that have absolutely no interest. And what I, t I can tell you guys from experience very quickly is I, I made tons of, you know, tons of video audits, you know, going for, you know, 15 to even 20 minutes for some of them. Uh, absolutely amazing. I can tell you, I'm not, not bragging, like I, I put my soul in, uh, and heart into those but no one even opened them, right? No one even watched them. So you want them to pre-qualify themselves to you and pre-qualify their interest. Uh, and so you wanna ask them if you if they like uh, to see the audit before you actually send it. Once they do say that they wanna see the audit, then you create the video around the audit that you already have created, okay? So those are the, the two main flows. Uh, pretty much you're gonna be driving a ton of traffic daily. You have to imagine that you're driving, you know, you're contacting with this automated flows, uh, you're able to contact hundreds and hundreds of people. A day, right? Uh, and so, you know, there'll be two paths that they can take. They can either go straight to the call. A lot of people will do that. Around what I found is around 70% of people will do that uh, because my flows are, you know, 70% is that first path. And around 30% of people will tell you that they want the audit, and then you send out the audit. For every single audit that that uh, that I send out, around 85% of people end up uh, booking a call. 
Uh, obviously, I've been doing audits for a very long time, and so my audits are, are, are pretty good. Um, when you're just starting out, it might be lower, but you know, essentially, more than 50% of people should be converted into a discovery call once you send out the audit. If you're, if they're not, then uh, there's something wrong with with your audit, and, and you need to address that. So I'll be talking about that in a few other videos. But yeah, essentially, uh, from that step, they're gonna go into a discovery call. So that's a, a two-step discovery call, and that's that's straight to the discovery call, and. You know, just to wrap it up, guys, I know it's been, a, been a, a very, very intense video, but essentially you're driving tons of traffic, automated, completely on autopilot. While you're sleeping, you're still sending out those emails, completely personalized. It's not, you know, you know it's not spam. It's not, you know, really bad emails because the copywriting is amazing uh, and you really want to make sure that you have that down before you send them out. Uh, and you, you pretty much don't have to do much. For those that, that you're sending them this, this email, once they answer that they want the, the audit, you send them the audit, which should take you around you know, 10 to 15 minutes to put that together. Uh, for those that are booking you know, the, the discovery call you know, straight away, all you have to do is take the calls and, uh, and sign them. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this method. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you found it of value. If you did, go ahead and, and like the, uh, the, the video. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. There's so much content uh, coming out. And uh, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be completely honest. There's a lot of bluff out there in the digital marketing sphere of people you know, saying things and telling you stuff that they haven't actually gone through. All I'm gonna say is I've been through this whole process. I've built a successful agency. And now my teachings for completely for free, you can take and you can apply yourselves to get real results. And so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. The last thing that I will say is if you're just an out and you have literally zero money to spend, these softwares are, you know, automating this whole system is probably not the way to go. Uh, simply because, you know, these are around, uh, I would say 50 to, to hundred dollar investment, but you can still apply the same principles. For example, building out the flows, um, for example, in, you know, asking them if they want the video audit before you, you even send it out. Uh, the, you, can, you can apply this whole system, just, it's just that you wouldn't have the, the automation in place once you sign your, your first client or, you know, I, I, honestly, as soon as you sign your first client, I would absolutely invest in this because this will save you tons of hours and it will take your, your client acquisition to the next level. So guys, hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found that of value. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.